Hello guys, and uh, welcome back to another, like, review, slash, just, like, comparison. But before we get on to that, I would like to show you this. Um, it is a 1968 uh, Chevelle, and it's by Kreger, which is like a modifying company, but... Um, I picked it up when I was on my little hockey tournament journey. And it's pretty cool. I got it for about 20 bucks. So, that was a really good deal. That's a little bit of fire right there. First half of it's fire. But, <clears throat> moving away from that. Um, so, my comparison is going to be on my Audi R8 by Maestel and um, the new Audi R8 that I just got, the Spider by Kyosho. But uh, first I'm going to do a review about this one, <clears throat> the Kyosho. So, um, we're just going to start this off with the front. So, as you can see from the headlights, it has wonderful LEDs, um, and then a plastic bulb under a nice sleet of, uh, plastic, and then under it, it is, um, uh, this mesh that's used as a grill on this car, and then there's an actual metal grill by the front with a license plate that says Audi R8 Spider on it and then on the hood there is a um, you can feel it in the car uh, sticking out the Audi symbol the four rings um, but there's pretty much nothing under that or below that there's a little like piece that sticks out there but that's pretty much nothing um, onto the side, uh, the wheels, which are done very good, um, there are holes in this disc brake, which, I don't know why that helps, it's because some disc brakes are flat and others have holes, I don't know what the difference is, but, um, there's a little, uh, um, I don't know exactly what that says in the middle of the rim, but besides that, the rims are made by a very nice plastic that looks very well done, and the wheels are rubber, and the disc does ride through the caliper, so, as you can see that, and then it says Audi on the actual disc brake, you can move that to see it really fast one uh, yeah it says Audi right there it's hard to see and then uh, up here there's a V10 sticker it tells the uh, number of cylinders in the engine um, right here is a blinker on the side view mirror um, it's a good looking door handle, I mean there's not much to it, then uh, going to the side there is a, a metal mesh grill right there, it looks absolutely fantastic, and then um, the back wheel is the same as the front, I don't know why it would be different, um, into the back which has a really good back on this car. why a lot of people like it. Um, the lights, which I absolutely love on this car, um, have those two little circle things and then a line of LEDs under it. And then a blinker on the far end of it. And there's the grill that goes all the way through to the other side. The Audi symbol, the brake light, 
Uh, it says v V10 right there. Or R8. No, yeah, it says R8. And another Audi R8 Spider license. And the exhaust, which looks very good from back here. And then, can't really see it, but there's two other exhausts that are actually in there. And then there's another brake light below it with another kind of grill, which um, I guess releases hot air from the engine. Um, taking a look under the car, you can see all the, the framework and the little lip that sticks out in the front. All the way down, you see little air and transmission things on the bottom there's the air intake and then the actual engine in the back and then it's really flat to make it uh, aerodynamic so they did a really good job of replicating that I'm um, to the front again we will check out the trunk and it's pretty like tight getting it up hinges are pretty strong on this thing and you can see the hinges up there and then uh, it has felt in the trunk going through which is always a very nice touch onto expensive model cars and there's not too much more else for the trunk Um, in the back, which I really wish that Audi would have made this a little bit better on this car. Considering that you can't do much. Oh, there's the gas cap. Just says R8 right there. Yeah, it says R8. But, uh, there's a bunch of, um... Uh, cold air intakes for the engine here and the grill right there and then on the bottom if you know you can't see it but uh, the there's two buttons and one on the far uh, right sticks the like pops the hood up a little bit right there for you to get it out which I'm going to forewarn you guys because I accidentally did this. I hope I don't do it again. Um, um, the hinges in this back part are like extremely short. So, and I accidentally pulled it too far and the hinge actually came out. But I did fix it. It was that one. But there's four hinges for this. But you can't really see the engine. All you can see is there's a... Uh, V10 R8 um, badge right there, which, yeah, right there, um, which I wish it went more up to like there or something, where you could flip it out so you could actually at least see the engine a little bit more, but I, I just love this back, these two like stripes coming down on it. That are letting out hot air and then the uh, middle button for this um, pushes up the wing a little and that's pretty much the wing it doesn't go out more than that um, and then there is like little there's a grill kind of in there mesh for the wing and then it just goes straight back in nothing too complicated um but and then we'll do the interior so there's the uh, first door the uh, driver's side door um, it's an exact copy of the other one other uh, metal parts and all that that look very nice in this um, in the interior but 
You don't really need to struggle that much, considering that you can just take the top off like that, which is pretty much one of the reasons why I bought this. I like buying models that, um, just, you can do stuff that other models can't, and you can take off this and this on this model. Um, there's really nice glass there, I mean, not, yeah, glass, plastic, um, that's really good. It makes it really look realistic when you have that on. But there's nothing much more than that. It's just plastic, no felt or anything on there for the top. Let me just put that down there. Interior. Um, I guess I could open the door back up because there is a uh, felt in the uh, on the bottom with a pedals are, which are stainless steel pedals, or metal, um, and then the interior is really fantastic, they have something going on, a little screen down there, the, uh, like, RPMs and miles per hour looks really good, um, everything on this model is really done well, um, but it's a pretty plain model, there's nothing, like, too insane about it. It's just good to have an R8 inside your collection. And then that moves me on to my first R8 that was absolutely trashed by Maystel. So this thing over here, has, like, the only thing I like about this one is that the wing comes up a little higher. But you have to do manually if I can even get it. Oh. Yes, there we go. Which, it's like not even a good um, paint on there. And then uh, that the hood, you can see the whole engine, but it's not really worth looking at. It's just plastic and a little bit of carbon fiber um, detailing but the back lights on this thing are just like absolutely terrible and all that so if you guys were to get an R8 um, I would definitely suggest getting the one by Kyosho I mean it's a lot more expensive that was like I don't even know 20 bucks and then this is like $99 but this thing's just a lot lot better so I, I would definitely advise getting that if you were to buy an R8 and yeah that pretty much goes for the review see you guys